request her. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't have my glasses. Hey. We're waiting for Stephanie to join her. Hey. <laughs> We're just waiting for Stephanie to join, but I can give you a little virtual tour as I walk through the gallery to give you a little preview of what to expect. Um, just waiting for her. I'm just waiting for her. Okay, we're still. It says that she's unable to join. Okay. okay. All right, we're just going to keep trying to get Stephanie. Oh my god, hey. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, this is so gnarly. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Hello. Welcome to your show. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> wow, this is like opening, but worse. It's no people involved. <laughs> um, I'm so close to the camera. I wish I had like a self yes. Um, okay, are you ready? Well, maybe we should wait like two more minutes. To just for, like get some people in? To get some people in, to let the people kind of come into yeah. the zone. Yeah. So for those waiting, I'm going to probably say this like five more times. <laughs> uh, Stephanie hasn't seen her show. No. She hasn't seen it, but she made it. I made it. Do you believe her? We don't believe her. <laughs> I sent them all via Zoom. <laughs> so we'll wait like two more minutes and then we can just start talking about art, you know? I'm so distracted. <laughs> I, I, I really, I'm honestly, like, I'm probably, like, the most chaotic person because I am really fidgety. Yeah. Like, this is what I want to see right now, and then I'm like, okay, well, we're going to go here, you know? Yeah. And you can't even sit, right? You can't even sit no, I can't. anyway. I feel like I should have a crew, and I should be, like... Yeah. I mean, you can change the camera. That I know. would yeah, be I possible, but also the, pity. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> what? So this is... <laughs> this is soft peak gummings. Yeah. Look at the palette on this one, guys. All right, we'll wait one more minute. Can you see the silver? There's silver in it. Yeah. yeah. You can walk me through every line and color that you drew. Oh, I mean, I can't see it precisely through the camera. Really? <laughs> no, it looks different in real life. So the metals you can't really see. And like all the iridescent oh colors and like, um, and you can't see the neon. That's yeah. In there, sadly. A little hues. So, Ooh, I love that detailing in the corner up here. The olive? Yeah. That like kind of like drawing, texture okay. report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really nice. <laughs> um, okay. Well, we can... It's been five minutes. I feel like, um, well, let's talk about frail juice. Frail juice. <laughs> what, How do you feel it? going in there? Is it rainy out there? It's really rainy. It is. It, it's raining. I saw, I was checking the weather in New York to know how, like, to kind of feel is. like how it will feel to just, yeah. like, manipulate you <laughs> in yeah. some ways. Yeah. This is my favorite part is the, the windows. I'm co-sitting like in front of the windows. 
the parent. Okay. The parent let's, is also there. Yeah, so, let's talk about frail Jews. Let's talk Someone about Someone is asking something. Oh, are the colors more like real on photo posts, like the silver material? What does that mean? I think, <laughs> no. They're not so real on photo material, never. Well, before we, okay, before we get into actually talking about um, the like specific works, like why don't we get like an overview? <laughs> why don't we give an overview of the show, right? Like the kind of like ethos of the show, because like, you you made all this work in 2020, like you made it all this year. So like, yes. what were some sort of themes that you were touching on? And let's like, we'll start there. Um, the themes or the MCU, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I did most of the work, like the paintings I did all in 2020. I think there's some drawings that I did yes. before 2020, like when things were less crazy or still crazy, but not revealed as crazy. Mm. Um, so I guess Ray the Jews, um, uh, yeah, there was a lot of titles. Um, that I started with to not really know where to end with and um, Frail Juice was the one that I ended with and I'm really happy with it actually. Yeah. Well, um, what does it mean? What does yeah. it mean? <laughs> uh, I mean what does it make you think of I guess and like what does it make you think of where seeing the paintings and I think it was like um, yeah I, I mean it makes me think of, of time, mm. of time passing, of bodies in youth and dying. Mm. Um, it made me think of color and taste, mm. fruitiness in some mm. ways. Um, it made me feel um, of castration fear in some ways. Um, do you do you do you make pal like the do you kind of build out the palettes as you're work like were you working because I read that you like kind of, you like are sim sometimes simultaneously working on, on things at the same time like were you working like did, are you kind of establishing the palette in real time or yeah do you kind of like base like do you build off of one painting that you developed um. Right, so you, you said, like, you asked if I, like, let the colors just, like, happen throughout the yeah, process? Like, or, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's definitely what I'm doing. I mean, when I start, I, like, like, I have no idea how things would look like. Or even if I would have, like, sometimes I have ideas. And, um, but let me take this off. Yeah, like, get comfortable. <laughs> I feel like everyone else is hearing that too, like these little things. Yeah. Um, so like, even if I have an idea how things should look like, sometimes I never achieve that. Or like, yeah. I'm happy I don't because I mean, I would be like entirely bored by, you know, while painting. Yeah. <laughs> because like, okay. I would just like craft them through, you know, and I, was... um, I still craft them through and, uh, but like in a more painful way um, or less. I was going to ask you, like, do you think of, like, do you think of the paintings as, like, worlds, like, singular worlds that you're constructing, or do you think, or do you view them as, like, a body, like, these characters and this, like, larger world that you're creating? I don't really, I didn't really get that. Can so, like, you... do you think, like, are, do you think of, do you think of the paintings as related, or are they individual, like, like mm. people or characters in this in this larger world. Mm. I mean both. Like um, I decided, like I decide the paintings for like a show in a way that I know the space, so they're going to be kind of set specific. Yeah. Um, but then it's also like I do it, like quite intuitively. Like I see what I have. Like I kind of think of size and like what the draw what drawing material I have. Like mm. I barely add drawing material to like things that I already have. I basically work with the draw drawing material that is there. And based on that, I'm like working on like all these paintings kind of at the same time. Like not mm. like this, I mm. wish, but mm. like this, mm. you know, like um, <laughs> somehow like 
I think some colors will will appear, you know, like in other paintings too. But if you look at these big ones, like where are you now? Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah. the other side, the bigger one, the double, yeah, the diptych, this one. Oh, funny! It's all. It seems like. Is this is this inner spring? Yeah, th this is inner spring. Yeah. Oh, it's twice. Like the core of the mattress. That's okay. inner spring. You can see this. If you see the mattresses or whatever you see in there, yeah, that's in the spring. So the green one, I kind of like this one and the other one that are the same size and also mm. in the drawing are like front and back side. Yeah, they kind of also work um, in like an opposite color way. Is that, I is, would that say. An, is that an eggplant? Maybe yeah, it's more like an eggplant flower. Yeah, but it's quite it's quite juicy. It's like yeah. quite fluid. So it's, 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 I'm it's, not it's, entirely it's, sure if it is. <laughs> it, it's it's one with uh it's one with an of a frail a frail juice. Yeah. Um, I I was thinking about your work. Like your work to me is like really architectural, and it's like funny to hear architectural. Yeah. Oh, nice. And and that like it's funny to hear that you like do like they are like site specific paintings because like you're you. Are like do you ask for like the dimensions of the space when you yes. and and so like you're you're like quite literally filling the space so, like what does it mean then like do you like I mean it's, it's it's a kind of interesting like kind of problem right and that like you're painting you're making these paintings for the space that like they'll they'll temporarily be housed in mm. Mm. yeah but I'm also like I know that they will go away and they won't right. stay in that space so like right. um, I'm not like. I mean, I just try to take care of them, you know, if I want to do a painting, I just want to like do the work the best as it can. And I think it sh like you should consider the space in there. Mm. So like, yeah, if I'm like getting invited into things, then it's mostly not that easy to just say like, oh yeah, I have this work and you know, just send right. it there. So there will be like a lot of consideration of which work should go and so on. But do you, but do you sometimes like, do, do you sometimes like construct, a, like make a canvas and it's like really small or you like make a piece and then that piece is like so undeniably like has to exist in the way that it does and it doesn't necessarily match the space. Like do you, does that, has that happened to you yet? Well, like you make a work and you're like, well, this it doesn't really kind of fit into that universe, but like this work has to be in this show. Yeah, then I just, mm. Mm, no, I think it's really hard, like, because since I work so process-based, I think, mm. like, in a way, they kind of do in the end. I mean, they're really hard to, like, sit really, like, next to each other. They will kind mm. of just, like, go clash. like this and, like, yeah. clash and fight a lot. And, like, in that space, it's really nice how the paintings kind of, you know, they can be on their own, but, like, yeah, the install is mostly, like, you have the chance to mostly like con like really look at one painting and not just like I feel like like no like they like this in this show I had the problems with a couple of greens mm. so like it gave me a lot of eye trouble just like installing all that green but <laughs> yeah yeah um well because so many like I, like I was reading about your work and it you know talks a lot about like it really talks about like this like well, I really did want to kind of ask you this quest, like this question of like, why painting? You know, like why not sculpture? You know, and I, yeah. and, and, and to me, the, if I were to answer the question that I'm asking you, I would say that it's like it, because it's like the surface, like like you know, like you can kind of like rupture the surface, yeah, penetrate the surface. Like what? Like why painting for you? Like do you think of other mm. art for, like other like mediums? Like is it is it is why painting yeah. is like a medium? I mean, my medium is like both drawing and painting, and right. I mostly come from drawing. I, I think like in the most natural way. Like, um, but then I studied painting, and I find it really difficult to paint. And I think, like, still I have no idea like how painting should be like, or like I don't know. I just like try to figure out something that I haven't seen myself in painting, but also mm. in the world, I guess. Um, and I think paint, I don't know, painting like 
this whole yeah the surface and like the oil paint is so difficult mm. and like there's a reason why a lot of people hate it mm. and like you have to work through the uh, the material kind of and like it has like an own character like every kind of paint that you use but like this paint is like the more pigment you get into like the more troubled you're going to be to arrange it in mm. any kind of way and like but like if you arrange it too much it's just going to be that you know like it's just going to be arranged so yeah. there's so many ways of like applying it i think that makes me just like going back to it yeah <laughs> i was i was going to ask about the like material construction like how you decide what kind of paints you use because i noticed that most of the work that you use is um like acrylic and oil and so like how do you like what yeah. like, what, like i i like i don't know a lot about like the kind of like the his like the history like the like the history of materials within painting yeah specifically but are you like what do you like what's your relationship to like oil in, in um, acrylic paint and like why do you often pair those two together um i mean i um i kind of use the drawings and i project them or grid them up like mm. in a way that I just like transfer the drawing onto the canvas like mostly large sometimes also not so large but mostly um, and what happens is like I mean you can say like maybe I fill in the colors but I don't really so what I do is just like I put one layer of acrylic paint mm -hmm. just to like get rid of the white which is like a good aim I think um, but uh, yeah, you get rid of the white and then like if you put like colors on top of each other, like mm. carefully or less carefully, like there will be more reaction than just like putting like one layer of paint. Oh. It's like something that's happening with light, whatever. I mean, I don't know. It's like, it's more like a chemical thing. Like you can't really go, I mean, you can, you can put oil and then you can put acrylic, but it might be like a restoratorical disaster, I guess. Um, so the layer of acrylic is like almost not there. It's just like, it is like on the description, mm. on the work description because it's there, but it's not like a big part of the work. Like the most time that I spend with the work is all oil, basically. Oh, but that's kind of, I mean, <laughs> it, 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 but even like kind of the, the kind of like material, like the, like the narrative and like how you kind of use and like activate materials are really interesting. It's like, the it, it is something that like it's like it kind of does you know lend itself to this idea of surface and mm. it's like hidden in kind of plain sight and it's like a, you like use it as like a foundation and like a like a sort yeah. of kind of like draw it's a out. foundation and, that yeah. puts it really well yeah, yeah. it's a foundation it's like to, to, to like draw out the colors and like draw out these like hues and like have these mm. colors like really mm. kind of like come through yeah it's also a way to just like break the drawing you know mm. just like go over it and like and it, like as soon as i mix like some I, I i make a mix of like different colors and acrylics and i have no idea what i'm doing i'm just like mm. ah ooh, you know somehow i don't want to waste paint so like sometimes i just go with a color that i don't really like in that moment but also in a way because like if it's too beautiful what you put on directly you don't want to continue painting on it right. <laughs> like, if it's like appeals to you too much right. in the beginning because now I'm revealing all my secrets to everyone <laughs> because you're not because you're not like you're not like it, it's, it's like if you were painting if you were paint it, it would be kind of like figure not figure painting but like what's the painting called when you like study the when you study the um like figure in the middle of the room when you like you, when you like do it like the exact drawing <laughs> what is it called like live painting no like what? live painting yes and like and, and it's <laughs> because like you're constructing these like new kind of materialities like it, it makes a lot of sense that you don't really like using a color in its true form because like you want to like make a color you know like it's like you're, yeah that's like, true like, it's like you, you don't I trust feel like, the, I'm... like don't trust the color that it is like you need to make it what it needs what you need it to be yeah Exactly. It's like, why are you doing it? You kind of, but then like, if you put on one color and you put the next color, you're so troubled. Like you just like, this is going yeah. to, like, this is going to continue forever. And like, 
you know, in some ways I stay with the colors. Sometimes I change it like in the very last, I change like whole backgrounds yeah. and like shit like that. Or like, I mean, the big orange one, the neon orange that goes into a non-orange like mm -hmm. transition. It's like, this is, this I, was like a pain in the ass. Like, wait, because I, the neon is not like, you can't really, like, it's not, how can I say this? Like, it's not opaque at all. Like, it's yeah, totally right, right, right. transparent. The other one, the orange one. <laughs> yeah, this one. Yeah, just tell me where to go. Tell me where to go. So this one, yeah. Um, so this one is really hard to make, like, because it's, like, basically just neon mixed into, like, a non-neon like color. Like a gradient, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. One of those gradients. Yeah. Well, so let's, like, let's, let's get into... Like really weird. Let's get into some of these questions. Our, 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 our dear friend Nicholas asks, it, there is something humorous in your handling of sex slash gen genital-like forms. Could you describe? What? Oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> no. Okay. Tell me. I'm looking at you. Okay. Can you, can you hear me now? Mm. Okay. Very good. You, you can hear me now? Yes. Okay. So our dear friend Nicholas asks for us to talk about gender and representation. What? Gender and representation. Oh, gender. Oh, people love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gallery let's talk always about, write about that, let's, too. <laughs> let's talk about gender. Uh, let's talk, let's about... talk about gender. Do you find any genders in the painting? Do you think my painting is gendered? Can I ask you these questions? I well, like you, that you more. Can, you, you, can, you, you can. Yes, you can ask me these questions. And I oh, this is nice. Um, this so, is nice. you know, as I was, you know, thinking about this painting, um, this is called Third Date. Third date. Oh yeah, yeah. Third date, right? I was thinking just about like the kind of like the kind of like the kind of like symbiotic relate like the, the relationship and, and the ways in which like we relate to each other as like humans and it's like abstracted like this like love and these like dynamics are kind of abstracted and stretched and so like like there's um oh, oh, oh like this the, even the simple fact that you revealed that this is like a mattress it's like these things that like these things that are like semiotic in a way, like they are mm. these like things like that are embodied and that like represent something. They represent like intimacy, like the mattress like represents like, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, 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 domestic, domestic life. Right, yeah. right, right, yeah. No. That we all spend like half of it probably. <laughs> Nicholas, we're At least. Get, Nicholas, we're getting there. I see that you have <laughs> about the genital forms and we are definitely going to answer that. We're, yeah. talking, we're talking about like the ways in which these forms are abstracted and like, what they represent, you know what I mean? Because in, in <laughs> I have to kind of switch hands because this hand is tired now, but um, yeah, do yeah I. I think like, do you, like, are you like in terms like, and if someone in one of your press release mentioned like Sarah Ahmed and like this like kind of like queer phenomenology and like, I mean, like, are you, thinking about queerness when like you're like constructing these canvas or like are you like thinking narratively and like how to kind of challenge and like disrupt these like kind of homogenous narratives mm, yes and no I guess I I think I don't paint with with that label in the back of my head and I don't draw like that um I feel like I'm really um careful uh, with what I'm what I feel entitled to use also um, but I just like the idea of things like doing things on their own like mm -hmm. yeah um, like the gen genital shapes or the mattresses or food stuffs but like the way I put them um, I guess it's more into a narrative and then of course like I kind of I think sometimes also just like intuitively just end up um, in a narrative that I think suits myself best and that I, um, yeah, that just like kind of integrates like all of these things in a way that they just kind of actually become integrated. And like, right. well, I don't know, like, um, so like, but when Nicholas um, wants to talk about the genital, shapes in this one for instance i mean the, the the idea i think while i was painting this one was like i mean there's a lot of things like i can't tell you anymore why uh they just like there um 
and um but there is like kind of this like i feel like it's like a slice of white bread with like a meatball head mm. thingy mm. um that has like a tie here that's like flying with some kind of leaf and i mean there's like shapes that kind of also like look like another shape and kind of just like appear yeah. like and there's also this dick when you, when you look at it like coming out of that white bread but it's also like the white bread is also pregnant kind of with this like what is it like you know that thing when you arrive somewhere this mm. is now i feel so german i missed the word you know when you're in a reception and no one is there and you have to do ding yeah you know? like ring the bell <laughs> yeah you ring the bell it's a bell exactly so <laughs> so like i just like put these shapes together Yeah. um on a drawing but they're not really uh, clear what they're going to be but the moment that put colors on and like I work on it they kind right. of develop in a way so sometimes it can be like it ends being maybe a dick or a knee or you know, yeah. something entirely else well, um yeah do you, do you i mean like, well oh god because it's like well what is like you know these like genital representations and like these constructions it's like well, what is mm. gender aside from like these it representations really... right So yeah. like when you like you know kind of stretch out like this like um phallic you know and like vulvic like these are kind of like representations of these things it's like these things exist but like they don't define neither should they define like who you are or like how you exist. Yeah. And it's like I don't know it's like I mean there's it's, there's something in the press release I think you know when people write texts about your work and then I love to fill in my little things in there. And I realize it's just like I also love to like point out like this the um the banality of like mm. some binaries and like some like how you supposed to read things and like what's supposed to be sexual or not you know like i it's like i think i think i i try to like i try to find a way to depict like like a lot of things in uh, in one painting they're not just like gender food anger or you know or like some certain feelings there's a lot of stuff in there and i think that's like it's all very fluid and <laughs> this is how it turns out in the end and this is how i would feel about things mostly you know yeah yeah <laughs> I like that. Well, I, 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 can you hear me? The chain. Can you hear me? Yeah. Well, I was, I was like, I've been thinking a lot about like concealment, right? Like the, like the way that these like objects kind of conceal. Like, are you still there? I'm sorry, because I tried to make a screenshot, <laughs> I just got lost. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what? Sorry. I'm okay. so sorry. Can you repeat that? Come on. Please. Come on. I'm here. Okay, so you know, it, I, I've been thinking a lot about like concealment, and like what you know, is concealment? I, I just know concealer. It's well, so it, it does the, this the similar thing that kind of like masks or like hides the thing, right? Like covers the thing, and mm. so like because like you do these narratives, like you're like like what? God, it's like you're it's like, I mean, the way that I interpret your work is that like it it it, it defies these like. Um, like kind of like classic like notions of like representation right so it's like yeah we we when we think of anger we think of like blood you know we think of like aggression you know we like we think of like this like of expressive like, violence, you know? strokes, like, yeah and, and 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 like what does it mean when you like slow it down and you like stretch it out you know and you paint it blue or you paint it like yellow you know like like the the, the ways in which like we have been conditioned to think about painting and think about art and yeah. you know the different colors that like you know rep like like sadness is blue you know rage is red like maybe melancholy is like yellow um <laughs> or maybe like <laughs> and maybe like you know sunsets are orange like you know it, you do like like what is your like cuz like like there's an architecture to the way in which like you use color you know like like there is very much like there is like these colors dance like like these images and this like sadness and this happiness like dances on the surface and like and, but mm -hmm. I, i really do feel like 
in you know like how do you like how do you feel about this but like i do feel like you have like you use or you bring like your interiority onto the surface like it is a very surface practice and you're like well how i'm reading this question um but what is the speed of anger color as a unit of measurement hey um but what like you know, like how do you like do you, when you when you're thinking about color do you think oh god I lost my train of thought but yeah I guess like what is your like well like, you're like you're like you like oh, god, there's so many ways there's so many like layers to your practice there's like color and then there's like shape and then there's scale and like why are your paintings big why aren't they like on small sheets of paper Mm -hmm. Um, I think when I studied, when I was was still studying, but like I started to, um, I had this idea of like, I just want to like epically fail Mm -hmm. the graduation. So I'm just going to make like a really big painting. And it turned out that some of the professors really thought like, this is so off, like, we don't like this. And like, and I really enjoy just doing the size and just like, you know, because like it's a body experience and like you can't like hold all these colors together, I thought, like in such a big, on such a big scale. And back then it was like, oof, it was like more than double the size of the one behind you. And really? But like, I, yeah. And like I had to screw down my studio after I studied, <laughs> but like, um, so in a way I was um but I still try to like I really like this kind of like two panel thing a lot but like I also like in the Berlin show I did like a more giant one what was more like a portrait of a glove and like had like more of a canvas frame so like I kind of also try to like choose a side like a size after the drawing and it, it's very like I mean you know if you paint like a little portrait of a glove like glove yeah little glove then I feel like why not making it really big and just like and then it's like because I want that little tiny glove that you know lost the second glove I want that one to be big and famous you yeah? know well someone asked a really great question right okay yeah they ask are you ready to answer this really great question i don't know (laughs) they they ask does color emanate feelings like when you're painting are you painting you know like earlier as i said like you know colors like typically or like red is rage blue you know like are you creating your own relationship to like color like what's your relationship to color like are you like this color like are you are you well, actually, like, I'm going to change this question. I'm going to change this question a little bit. When, like, how do you get lost in paintings? I think I'm still thinking of the first question that I, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, how I'm getting lost in paintings. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think we like the painting and I must be, I like that. We get into a dialogue of like how things work together. Mm-hmm. And um, and I feel like there is sometimes like a thing of like, I want the fucking banana to be yellow, but how does a fucking banana look like? And how is like, what kind of yellow? Yeah. And then I'm getting really troubled, but I'm still trying. And maybe it will turn out yellow in the end, you know? Right. Um, but are you always, but, like, like, are you always, like, are you using bananas? Like, are you, like, are you, like, are you, are you married to these, like, con- cl- classic, um, you know, conventional concepts of, like, representation? So you're, like, if you're painting a banana, are you thinking to yourself, this has to be yellow? And if it's not yellow, it's not a banana. <laughs> um, um no it's like um you know it, it's it's like a decision thing it's like um classic representation um mm. of like an old banana a young banana a green banana mm. um or like you know kind of and there might be always a twist even if i do that you know like 
like or maybe I have like one thing in a painting that makes it accessible I think yeah but then the rest is like me <laughs> well, this is, this but is somehow like I sometimes if I get really caught into these like ooh, you know the banana yellow yeah. what else do we have I don't know nails red mm. I don't know then I get like I feel like puking and I'm just going to change it but like I what I want to talk about is for instance the the bird painting the the orange one Like the orange, like uh, you're not where you are right now. <laughs> well, I, I wanted, to, I, wanted um, to, I wanted to ask really quickly because these these questions, these, these paintings, like have like they have two similar greens, right? Similar hues. Oh yeah, horrible. <laughs> and so, like, what, like, are like, do you think that like, do you think paintings are related with colors in this way? Or do you think that they just like are accidents that kind of exist and like they like it do exist independent of one another and it just so happens that they share a kind of like I form. mean it's sometimes I have this paint out, you know, and these paintings are like all next to each other and then that happens. But also in a way of like um this other painting behind you, it wasn't green, it was it had a different background or however you want to call it, like a different green mm -hmm. there that I just like changed a lot. Uh, in the very end, but like the dark blue one with the green in the middle, yeah, yeah. that green kind of stayed the same, but like just, you know, it's it's like so gentle sometimes how these colors work and also with the other colors. So like sometimes I might go from like um, red to green to purple, you know, scrape it all off and do like, there's a lot of change sometimes and sometimes not at all. So, mm. Well, let's go to the orange. Let's go to the orange. Um, so when we talk about connotations, I thought, or like that thing we were talking about earlier, this like, um, this is like for me in a weird way, like I wanted to give these birds like some shelters. So, yeah. Birds, you can see it, it's the yellow stuff up there. I think you're, yeah, this one. And then down there. Yes, and the one that's on the other side. So like in the whole setting or whatever that's happening, like with the background, I really like that they kind of find shelter in like a really like kind of aggressive color. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it really, and like yellow and also this kind of orange, like I think a lot of people would say like they really bite each other off. But like in a way, I want to find ways that this works. Like, because I, I feel like a lot of people, like they tell you how to paint and what's working and what's not and what you're supposed to use. But like in the end, you can do whatever, but it's sometimes just like these nuances that make it work, you know, right, like right. color. Well, what, like, what, well, what does failure mean to you? <laughs> just like, um, it's not like I have inspiration, I have an idea, I'm going to do this and it's going to be amazing. I rather, I'm, I sometimes think it's going to be amazing and then it's going to be quite a painful you know, way of doing the painting and think that's really relatable to life in general <laughs> or yeah. relationships or like the relationships that you have but, with yourself. But I, would, I love that it's like you're, you're classic, like you're classically trained, right? Yeah. And so like, I think like failure is like, some can say that like failure is like experimentation or failure could be experimentation. Yeah. Failure, like, um, like, you like you know it's like it's like what what like what like I, but like you know like we all have our own i think that you know thinking about language and how language fails us in terms of like you know yeah. I, say, I say i like your work but like that is very vague you know like that isn't like so mm -hmm. much of language lacks specificity and so you know like when i ask you like what do you think failure is like is failure when you fail to convey a shape in the way that you wanted to, or is failure the way mm. that, like when you're using colors in ways that, in a way that you haven't or you weren't 
taught to like it's failure when like you just it's, it's failure when you give yourself over to the process and you just do whatever you want hmm. um i think it's hard to like just go um, into a thing and like have no expectations you know mm. so like i'm ready to just like you know let let them all be like smashed <laughs> like <laughs> like in a way of like but i i have i have security which i think we all need in some ways but like i have security and like having something that i created myself and this is the drawing and it's just a different language so like if i don't like get along with the painting language i go back to the drawing and be like oh yeah oh yeah of course it doesn't work like because this like like i i transfer them or i translate them pretty precisely and like if I cross things through or like just like little edges, like I will get like go back into them. So like I just go back into like everything I like did because like the irony of it is that you can never fully control what you're doing. You can just like go back to it. You know, you just like this like whole movement and like body thing of like <laughs> painting is like there is a disconnection. There is like a natural way of misunderstanding. Like we, the painting and I, we will never understand each other. Right. <laughs> but like we can have some fun while doing so, you know, like. Well, well I was going to ask like what, like how many, because you do these like what people have deemed like these automatic drawings that like, you know, are from, like, like come from your subconscious. And like, mm -hmm. what are you, Oh, like what is the rate that a drawing becomes a painting? Like, it, it, it are you, like like how many drawings are you turning over, and how many paintings are mm -hmm. like how many paintings are inspired from like the architecture of the drawing that become the painting? <laughs> I mean, all the paintings actually, and uh, there's not so many drawings. But like, I'm not like a crazy drawer. It's not like I do it every day and like, you know, whenever I can, I'm more like, oh, sometimes it's like, oh shit, like I really need to like center myself. So this is the time where I need to draw. Mm. Like I'm going outside, I'm just like observing mm. what's there. And like, that's like a very different like mood or yeah. like, you know, of being, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like. It's for some people maybe like reading a book or like writing things down. Like I think writing things down like in, in a notebook or something, you know, yeah. uh, who, whoever is still doing that, I'm with you. I'm, I, I am. You do that? You have like a... I have, of course, but I call it a journal. It's not... It's, oh I yeah, journal. A journal. I, I journal like... But yeah. I do, like, but I, 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 I think, nice. like, like, William, what is like painting for you? You know, like, is painting... Yeah a meditative state or like a cathartic state is like, like a therapeutic state like what what because like you know some people paint to survive some people paint to die some people paint uh, to like interrogate like yeah but like i have like you know based on our conversations that we've had uh, like, it seems like you paint to like release like you paint to like like to like destroy like destroy you know d really yeah. I always thought I paint to paint. No, um, I think it's very different every day because mm. sometimes I feel like, oh shit, I have to paint because I have a deadline. But if I go back to the roots of it, I'm like, I just, I mean, I purely just have joy in doing it. And I think like, I, I like doing it because like, I feel like I can be in a bubble outside of everything. Um, you know, where I don't really, like, I don't really bother anyone and no one bothers me. And it's just like, you know, I can do it on my own, which is great. Yeah. But sometimes I feel like, why am I doing this right now? I'm so alone. Like, <laughs> it's so many hours that I spend with that. But, but yeah, I mean, I get into a state where I forget about things or I just like clearly, like, it's a way of thinking. It's a language, I guess, or like, it's like going into an own narrative where it, it makes connections to the world yes. like you know or to society or whatever that like makes me relax and think about things you know like yeah. or feel with like and yeah it's also therapy clearly <laughs> yes um do you think art do you think like do you paint urgently like 
have you ever like do you do you have like a work that you specifically made where you're like this needs to exist mm. a work or like it's like you see something and you feel like oh you really need to get this out of here yeah, like, yeah. Get into the world yeah mm. yeah i guess so like i mean i'm really like in a way like i feel like i wouldn't like send anything out of there um without feeling that way um i don't know if it's always that clear but like i think i'm really like aware of the space that i'm taking you know like in a way that i feel like yeah i feel like i don't want like i mean i can't entirely control how people react to these paintings of like course. they've been like they've been uh people that've been really like angry about them and I was like why the fuck you know but it's, so there is um I mean like and it's interesting to see who <laughs> is getting angry of them uh, right. for some reasons but that doesn't happen so often <laughs> I mean I don't want to put out anger there you know um but sometimes I mean there's anger in them and I guess some people feel that um right yeah Do you I write? I write down things like phrases, mm. like them. Mm. Yeah, no, not really. No, mm. I draw. Um, do, do you read? <laughs> I read, but mm. I'm slow. <laughs> yeah. I, I uh, listen to podcasts sometimes if I know some nice ones, but um, I, I read. I like to read theory, mostly. Mm. Um, I'm a, because I, I like you love theory. I can see that. <laughs> um, no, but like the thing is with like narratives. If I read narratives, I get lost. Like yeah. if there's like one description, I'm just like my head is just like full of images, yeah. and like I I get really overwhelmed by it. I mm. still like it a lot. I have to say, but yeah. <laughs> Should I do that too? Wait. You can still hear me. I can. No, you can't? I can. I can. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Good. I like this distance for us. It kind of represents like where we are to wrap this in the morning. See, that's, that's my studio. I'm in my studio. You know what? Why don't you... Why don't... Why don't you take take us on a tour of the studio? I can take you on a tour of the studio. Let's Did do, the parents go. tell you to do so? No, they didn't. I don't know if that's allowed. Okay, but... sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> okay, but... but then I I will turn it around so he doesn't see my face um, anymore. Okay, we okay. will. Okay, so like, is okay, I have this like little. This is my entrance. Love. Is, so I so have just so just to be clear. Here. Yes. Wait, just to be clear for the people joining now, these are the works that I made. So the, these are the works that I made in Stephanie's <laughs> studio. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you made the mess here, too, in the kitchen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly yeah. I was in a rush this morning. Okay. You hung up all the mirrors here so you can see yes, myself. Yeah, Hi. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's, my windows. Let's see these are my windows. You painted them all orange, yellow. It's your yes. favorite color, I heard. Okay. I love it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or, like, love it. <laughs> This is my collage table. Yeah. There's a little high Pippi Holtzworth gallery. This is Ooh, your little nice. mock-up. I don't, I, I don't feel comfortable with that. That's a show that I'm not really comfortable talking yeah. about. Yeah. It's like you're still, you're still trying to change the, the mock-up of it, the right, architecture right, right. of the space. Right. This is like the work you've been doing on. You're really struggling with the colors of the banana. Uh, yeah, because, yeah, like, you know, like, what should the banana be? Yellow? Should it be green? Like, what stage is the banana in? Like, I'm not really sure yet. So, like, if we could just, if you could just, yeah, yeah. Just pan quickly there, it would be, that would be great. Yeah, and you never clean your palette. I'm really mad at you for that. I know. And this. It's so crazy. They look just like paint. these. What? Those paintings over there look, look a lot like, kind of like this. It's like, did you copy me? Um, I think you're a little bit better, actually. Okay. Look, okay. like the shadow, there's so much more space in this one. Yeah. 
Okay, and then there's another one that you prepare for Miami. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready for my trip in Miami. But like, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't really, what, when you look at that painting, what do you think? What, what are you feeling? Like, what's that little mm. orange little little guy, little, and what's that orange little moment down there? Yeah, I mean, it makes me feel, it makes me feel like you should work on it more. Okay, um, okay, okay. I think it's not really where it should be right now. Okay. I, mean, I think I, you, you I really think... like to eat pretzel. Right, um, right. And you like dogs? I do. I do. Orange, I can take. Filter. I really can take the criticism. So just like, really, just you know, let me know. Let, let me know what I need to change, and I'll do it. Uh, I mean, the colors are still a little bit too, mm, too easy. I think there's yeah. there needs to be some more struggle in this one. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's some things over there, like up there, that are too open. Mm. to undefined like people mm. will take that they won't take that seriously like yeah. it has to come with like serious intention you know okay 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 <laughs> okay this is the door to my old studio i once locked myself out when i moved into the new one sometimes you have um, to leave the old things behind me. hello is that is that all i have there i thought that i made more no you didn't I've been telling people that I'm really busy and can't hang out. So I would, I like, let's, let's see, let's, let's show them a <laughs> sketchbook. Let's like tell them a story. Yeah, no, no, you, I think, I think the sketch, the sketchbooks, no, no, there's no time for that. Um, you have a secret box here. Like what? everyone is always interested in that, okay, but I didn't follow up with it. Are you ready for me to talk about that? Like, I'm not really sure. The secret book? No, what? I just like, I think once I felt like people, when they when they come visit me at the studio, mm -hmm. it's really boring for them. So I'm just going to, uh, so, to create well, a yeah, secret yeah, box. Yeah. And said the secret box. So like for everyone coming, it's just like, oh, wow, there's a secret box. But uh, it contains all drawings that I like painted like copies of them and they're like oh. full of pain but yeah, I, honestly I, I, where are they i don't know where they are. i, I think i'm like right the, the phone is like right on top of this box so i can't really open it right now oh. it's just for I, it's just I, for I, I feel like vips i feel like they need like they need to know I, i'm ready to reveal my secrets so i think that like we could i would feel comfortable showing them the secret box Okay. Uh, no, but I can't open it right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Should we give? Should we give the people uh, more? Like we still have fifty-four. I know. We can go as long as. Yeah. We like, do they do they want to ask things? Like. Yeah. Let's. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey! People of the internet. People, people of, the, of internet. the internet. Are you really there, or are you just like? <laughs> exactly. Like we. Showing. We, you see us. We're name. not really here. So let's yeah, ask some I mean, questions. If you feel. Like, you know, okay, who actually, the people on the internet, I, have, I too have been a person in a crowd before, and sometimes I get really anxious asking questions that I just want to know. You know what I mean? I'm like, why did you choose that color? Why did you call it that? Yeah. Why are yeah. you a painter? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, why are you, like, why do you get to do what you want to do? Like, I can do what you do, you know? So, people of the internet, ask whatever question you want to ask, and we will answer it. So if you're like, I hope that oh, okay. Should we should we price that one? Like, should we say like, if you ask a question, you get something from the gallery for free. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just if you, if, you, <laughs> if you ask a question, we will answer. It. How about that? Yeah. Otherwise, okay. I, I just take up my sweater. So exactly. That's like a little bit of if you want to ask, them, could you show that painting? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Person of the internet. Okay, I'm like, this isn't here. No, they they really don't wanna. That's no. That's called no. Exclamation mark. That's probably the drawing. What, do you want to go to the backspace because there's also yeah, like a drawing, the, the double little might, set of we drawings. We might lose each other. We might lose each other. Oh, I see. Wait, okay. We're the so people have to go into like, the show is just on for like another week. I oh my god. Okay. Do I come? <laughs> All right. Okay, we're coming in. We're coming in. Yeah. Coming, sorry. Um, so what, what, we're here with this drawing. Mm. Yeah. Tell me about this one. This one? Yeah. With the puppy? 
Yeah, tell me it's about like, the like It has two sides. It has two sides. That's okay. quite an old one. The puppy in a box. That's just... I, I like... Yeah, oh, that's too far. That, that's their professor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the, the multi-glassed dude. I Please love this one. I love this one. <laughs> this is like I feel like it's like everyone's stalling. I don't know if that's a good sign. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna You know what I gonna, mean? We're gonna look we're gonna look. People are asking questions now. Okay. Is that a Miyaki top? What? Or oh where are you wearing a Miyaki? Can you hear me? Now I can hear. Okay, are you wearing an Issey Miyake top? No, no, but um, I have on plissé pants, <laughs> so almost. Only the real, <laughs> only the real art girl. Uh, who who was asking that, Daniela? I don't know. Okay, okay. so wait, wait, we're gonna we're gonna deep dive. Okay, okay, maybe Steph answered this because I was kicked out of the chat a few times. All right, sorry you're kicked out of the chat. We still love you. Um. What about the change of scale from drawing to painting ever consider? So yeah, yeah, so like, just like to some, we can do some quick recaps. Like why are the drawings so small? I, <laughs> why are the drawings so small and why are the paintings yeah. so big? I, I, would, I would say that it seems like you give yourself permission or like the drawings kind of like give yourself permission to like do whatever the fuck you want on canvas. Yes, but also, I mean, the drawings and like having a book where you write things down and like, you know, cross things through. It's like, I'm basically like, like um, painting them, just like making myself all naked. Yes. And people have been saying stuff like in, in, in reviews or whatever, like that I've been hiding and whatever. And I don't understand why, because mm. I feel like I'm actually revealing all like my like each of my thoughts you know and just like yeah and i'm even translating them into color on <laughs> everyone um oh yeah. yeah yeah like you are creating these things that like out of color like this is a black and white image that you translate like you're translating your own work oh but do you sometimes feel like things get lost in translation of course <laughs> i hope not in the scarlet johansson way <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, there's no, there's no way that like a painting could ever be like a drawing. It's like, I think no language is the same. And like, right. I'm like, yeah, no. We can well, try. To... We, we, we can try. I, yes. I, uh, the, some, someone had asked. I'm trying to center it because I'm really. You have to be. You have to. You have to show the people what they want to. You know. You have to really show. It, really show it. <laughs> but I, someone, someone asked if a painting was available, and I would like to like confirm that they are sadly not. Stephanie mm -hmm. has a sold out show, and um, <laughs> oh my god, we have two minutes remaining. We have two minutes remaining. Speed, 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 speed challenge. Speed challenge. Um, Stephanie, what do you want to talk about? What, what what's on your heart? I just I just want to emphasize that people should not try to understand everything or like maybe no they should try to understand things but feel things also and no. like just go and see it because it's just like one week left to see it and I can't go myself so please do but if you hate it don't go or maybe go I don't know maybe go you know what maybe go to find out why you hate it and if you and if you hate it, <laughs> take a second to write a two page, two hundred, two hundred and fifty to five hundred word response on why you hate it, and then you can mail it to us, and yeah. we'll think about it. Not at all. But <laughs> what else do you want to say? You have a minute left, and this is your minute. I say thank you to you. You're amazing. I had so much fun, and thanks for everyone listening. Thank you. Well, this <laughs> wouldn't be possible if we didn't show the people the work. <laughs> and this is just a reminder that you nothing conversation is really important but conversation has to eventually produce you know you have to produce this i'm gonna outline the box you see me doing that outlining the box yeah yeah and then it cuts through it's over and we have 30 seconds left thank you to okay. everyone joining us
Got I it. show you my hole in my top. So we decided to bring, <laughs> we decided to bring <laughs> Stephanie here through the internet because the internet is a real place and you have to sometimes be nice to yeah. people on the internet. So thank you for joining. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, thank you. Have fun. Be safe. <laughs> you too. Stay healthy. Everyone, bye.